Hey friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today we're talking about how to multiply times 10. So when we think multiplying by tens, we tend to think the basics, like, and so on. And with the simple version, you might realize what we really do here is we take this four, and then we take this zero and bring it on over. Here, we take the five, and we add the zero. This one, six times 10, we take the six, add the zero. This is pretty much the same thing we're going to be doing, but with one extra step. Okay, so let's start off with three times 40. Now, this sounds like a really big number, but really, it's quite simple. All we're going to do is with this two digit number, 40, we're going to chop it in half. So go ahead and chop it like we normally would when we were looking for our tens and ones. Now, if we actually write our ones place and then our tens, we'll see that there's four tens in the tens place. Now with this, we are only going to do three times four. So what is three times four? If you're not sure, let's go ahead and solve it real quick. Let's do four circles. One, two, three, four, three lines. One, two, three. And we're gonna count these. And every time we count these, we're gonna put the number on the line. And of course, this last one here is going to be our answer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is our answer here. Now we can't forget about that zero that we set aside. So we're gonna actually take this zero and move it right here. And 120 is our actual answer. So three times 40 equals 120. So all we did was chop that big number in half and use the tens. And we multiplied that tens number by the smaller number to get 12. And then we added in our zero again. Let's do another one. Like five times 30. First thing we're going to do is we're going to chop that 30 in half. Now, once we've chopped that in half, we are only going to multiply this five times three. So what is five times three? 15. And then don't forget that zero that we chopped off and saved for later. So we're gonna bring that zero here. So our real answer is 150. So five times 30 equals 150. So in some equations, you might see that those numbers have switched places. We are still focusing on the tens place. So let me show you what I mean. If we have a 30 times four, we are still going to chop the 30 and we are still focusing on the tens. That zero is what we are saving till later. So go ahead, that zero, we're gonna bring all the way over here after that equal sign. We're not touching it right now. We are focusing on this three in the tens place times four. So three times four, three times four equals 12. Now we're going to bring that zero on down. So our real answer is 120. That's what we're going to write here. So we have that 12 and bring on over that zero for 120. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helped. If you like it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.